Okay, this lecture is super important for you to remember. There's tons of exam questions on why you can't launch an EC2. So if you get an instance limit exceeded error, if you get that error, that means that you have reached a number of max EC2 instances you can have in your region. And so this is an account limit. The resolution is to either launch the instance in another region, or you can open a support ticket with AWS to increase your limit of the region. Pretty easy. By the way, the default limit of instances in each region is 20. Before we go into other reasons, let's just go quickly see how we can troubleshoot this and uh, mimic that error. So when we are into our EC2 uh, console, on the left-hand side, there is a limit. And here we can see the instance limits, and we can see that in my account, the running on-demand EC2 instance has a current limit of 20. And so I could click here to request a limit increase. So let's have a look how we can create 20 instances just for fun and see how it goes. For this, I chose to use the run instances CLI command, but you could as well use the console if you wanted to. It has to run a command, and the command is going to be right here. The only thing I have to add is the image ID. So I'll go ahead and get an image ID from my first instance. Here is the AMI ID, and I'll just copy this AMI ID here, which is going to be the image ID. Okay, so now I'm basically doing launching 19 T2 micros with this AMI ID. That should be it. I click on enter. And what this will do is that after this is successful, I will have 20 T2 micro instances running in my dashboard. So let's have a look if that worked. Here we go. Now I have a lot of instances that are starting to get started. Okay. So that basically makes me reach my limit for the account. Now, if I go ahead and try to launch one more instance of T2 micro using the say AMI ID, and click on enter. This time I get the error occurred, instance limit exceeded, and it says the quota allows for zero more running instances and I requested one. So this is the idea. Now this is uh, definitely what we wanted to do. So basically the idea is that once I have 20 instances running into my account, then things go bad when I start to launch new instances. What I'll do now, right now is just terminate all these instances obviously. So let me just right click and I'll click on all of them except the one that's already been terminated and the one I want to keep. And I will go ahead and terminate those instances. Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Now the other troubleshooting issues you can have is that you may have insufficient capacity error. And so when you get this error, that means that AWS does not have the capacity to launch an instance for you in that AZ you requested. So it's not your fault. It's not a problem with your account. It's a problem with AWS themselves. And so the resolution is to wait a few minutes before trying again, or if you request maybe five instances, uh, request one at a time, or if it's urgent, maybe you can select a different type of instance and then you will upgrade it uh, later on, just like we saw in this course. So it's just something you should know. If it's insufficient instance capacity, it has nothing to do with your account. It has to do with AWS themselves. Finally, and that's the most important, if the instance terminates immediately. So it goes from pending state to terminated right away. So that means that you were able to start it, but then something went wrong and it got terminated. And you have to remember these reasons. Number one is you've reached your EBS volume limit. Number two is your EBS snapshot is corrupt. Number three is your root EBS volume is encrypted and we don't have the permission to access the KMS key for the decryption. Or finally, the instance stored backed AMI is missing a part. And so these four reasons you need to remember, learn them, just recite them night after night until you know them. And then once you get this, if you ever get this in real life, to find the exact reason, you need to check the description tab and there's a state transition reason label, which I will show you. Now I cannot uh, trigger this, this problem, but you need to remember that if your instance goes from pending to terminated, that means that one of these four reasons happened and they ask about it in the exam. Now in real life, if you wanted to know why, for example, this instance, didn't get launched, if it didn't get launched, you click on the cogwheel on the right hand side, you scroll down and there is a state transition reason and straight transition message that we can have, we close it. And basically this added at the very, very end, uh, two columns. And so it tells us why the instance got terminated. So this one is because it was user initiated and then the straight transition reason as well, uh, pretty much the same thing. But this tells you why, why these things happen. So let's say for this lecture, really what's most important to you is to remember that if the instance goes from pending to terminated, it's one of these four reasons, that if it's a capacity error, it's not your fault, it's AWS. And if it's a 
instance limit exceeded error, that means that you have too many instances and you need to open a ticket to increase your limits. Okay, I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture.